Welcome to Excel Med Trick number 1219. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, 1218 to 1220, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1215, we talked about charts disappearing when you filter and how to change the properties. And someone asked, hey, what if I have a pivot table next to a table? I'm going to turn the filters on and see what happens when we filter the data set. So I go up to the Data and Filter button or Control-Shift-L. And that turns on the filter. Now, if I try to filter here, that's off the screen. So I'm actually going to have to insert a column here. So you can sort of see the drop down. Now, ready? I'm going to filter this and see what happens. I'm going to uncheck Select All. And when I select 2014, there will not be a problem because filter hides rows and there's no hidden rows there. So if I uncheck 14 and do 13, though, instantly it goes away. And notice that the slicer didn't go away. Control Z. Now, I don't know how to change any setting in a pivot table because it's sitting in the cells to avoid that. But we can do an awesome trick where we use paste a picture with a link. So I'm going to highlight this pivot table, Control X to cut it. I want to put it on a new sheet. So I'm going to Shift F11, double click the sheet and call it like PT or something, and then Control V to paste it. Now I'm going to Control C to copy. Go over to 1219, and in J1, instead of Paste, I'm going to go up to the Home ribbon, Paste drop down, and check this out. There's the button for Linked Picture. And there it is, Escape to collapse those ribbons. There is our pivot table viewed as a picture link back to that other sheet. And watch this. If I change this, it totally updates. Now, when I click on 2014, it's actually changing the data over here. I'm going to escape to turn those dancing ants off. But it's a linked picture. Now, look over here. This is grand tot. We need to, to say grand total, right? So I'm going to come back over here. And on this sheet, I'm going to change the column width. And now when I come back over here, boom, there it is. Now another thing about this is you can see that the lines behind this picture are in view. And I want to change that. So I'm going to click on the picture, Control-1 to open up our task panel. I'm actually going to go to the bucket, say Solid Fill. And you pick white. It looks like I already picked white. Usually it comes up some blue. So I'm going to pick white. And now we don't see those lines behind there. Now let's go look at our properties over here. And sure enough, down here, usually it comes up move and size with cells, which means if you filter and hide some rows, this will disappear. You can either use move but don't size, or don't move or size with cells. I'm going to use this second one. Actually, if we look at our slicer here, it has by default move but don't size with cells. Notice the task pane is pretty polite. As you click on different objects, it has it moves. All right, so we have our settings. Now when I come over here and I need to go Control Home, I want to select from the Date dropdown. Uncheck 14. Now when I do 13, instantly it's filtered. I'll close this right here. And we can see both our slicer and our picture. That is pretty cool. By the way, link pictures can be used for lots of other things. It's a great way to actually have something from the cells that you need on top of something else. And it's hard to do. But you still need the data to change. So you use Paste Special Linked Picture. All right, we'll see you next trip.